So, do you want to be a juggling master? Watch this video. So, do you want to be a juggling master? Check this video out. So, do you want to be a juggling master? Check this video out. Hi guys, Chris from Coach My Skills here. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you some basics of juggling and show you some tips to improve that juggling moving forward. First reason to practice your juggling is simply to improve your ball control. Now, when you're watching the best players in the world, they look like the ball is stuck to their feet like glue. Everything looks so simple for them. So this is a fantastic way to improve that, that first thing of ball control. Secondly, it develops and helps improve your first touch. Now, your first touch is sometimes either that's out of the air or along the ground. And what you can do is sometimes if you don't have a partner to pass to and to improve it that way, the next best thing is to actually work on juggling because this will improve that, that first touch for you for the future. So thirdly, and actually something that is really important for you young players is developing and improving that confidence with the ball. The more confident you are, the better you feel. And this is also developing your muscle memory. This is really important because the more you do it and the more you get better at it, it develops the muscle memory it makes things easier. Things like shooting, passing, crossing, all these sort of technical elements, the more you practice with juggling, the easier it will become. So that's three reasons why you should be juggling as much as you can. So from there now we can start looking at how we can uh, start juggling if you're a beginner. I appreciate some of you might be already uh, advanced in this already, but if we're just starting off for, for beginners, is the first thing that you can already look to do to start improving your juggling is first exercise is you're dropping it and kicking it and catching the ball again. Simple as that, start getting used to the feeling of having to kick the ball back up to your hand. So let the ball bounce, use your other foot as well and try and spin it back up to you, get used to bringing the ball back towards you. You don't want the ball going out towards the sides or out towards in front of you. So drop the ball, catch it again. Other side, catch it again. Other side, catch it again. Now you see that I'm trying to get a little bit of backspin as well. When you're doing that it makes juggling a whole lot easier because the ball is coming back to you every single time. So you can do this, look to do this as many times as you want before you start feeling comfortable. Once you start feeling comfortable with that, then move on to without a bounce. So straight down to your foot, catch it again. Straight down to your other foot, catch it again. Now it's important when you're doing these, that whatever you do with your stronger side, you're doing with your weaker side. Because with juggling, you must be able to develop and use both sides of your, of your feet as you're progressing. So once you get comfortable with the, uh, that, that practice there, then you can start using the one where you're juggling it twice. Try and get two in a row, alternating feet. Sometimes you can even try same foot. Just start getting comfortable with having the ball in the air all the time for two juggles. Then you can start moving on, try three. And as you go, you progress, try and get yourself up to 10. And this is what I'd say is the best way to begin to help improve that confidence because juggling can be difficult at times and the idea is don't get disheartened if you make mistakes so try and just start slowly and build up really really slowly as well don't don't try and push yourself too far ahead too soon so now if you've got yourself really really comfortable with that and you've got yourself up to 10 20 juggles and you're comfortable with kicking it in the air and then catching it with your hand then you can start already now to try and pick the ball up from the ground this is where the ball usually is so you've got to learn how to pick it up and so you're flicking it up and get yourself into the juggling again. Now, what you can do is do 20 juggles like you've done before, put it on the, on the ground again, flick it up again, and go again. Again, this just develops the ball control, your first touch, and your confidence, those three points that we talked about. And you can start to really master the ball. Now, when you're juggling, it's important 
that you don't extend your foot like that and you don't curl your foot all the way up like that. What you want to do is kind of lock your foot in there. So the ball is actually striking the top part of the foot here and what you want to do is flick it up so you're getting that backspin. So as the ball is coming down, it's flicking it up. Flicking it up with backspin. A little bit of backspin, flicking it up. So you can see there, hopefully you'll see when I slow it down, that the part of the area that I'm using is here. So that's the video there of the basics of juggling. Make sure you go out and practice it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. It really does help the channel grow. And also comment and subscribe. Also as well, join our Facebook group that we've created. It's Coach My Skills. You can come on there, ask questions. I can provide feedback, anything like that, so we can communicate. And it's a really good platform for, for me to talk to, uh, to my followers. So join that group and uh, we'll catch you soon. Didn't even get to